Hi guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I've got another hair product review for you. Um, but this time it's not just one product, it's actually three products and they are not from the US, not from Europe, but from Taiwan, which is kind of odd and I really didn't know what to expect from these products. But they have turned out to be really great products, especially for my hair type. So I'm very happy to present to you a brand called Orient. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about three of their products, namely uh, a classic pomade, which is an oil-based pomade, a texture paste, and a clay pomade. Now, before I get into the details of each product and tell you guys how each product performed, how the styling and hold and finish aspects turned out for me, I'd like to say a couple of things about all three products because there are a couple of things that these products share that I liked really much. And the first thing I'd like to say is that the packaging is really amazing. I have honestly never seen a packaging like this, um, not in the 30-ish something hair products that I tried so far. Um, because the packaging is of really high quality and this is something that really made the products um, stand out for me the first time I saw them. The jars themselves are 100 milliliter jars, so that's um, 3.5 ounces, I think, and they are made of a high gloss plastic. This plastic is pretty sensitive to fingerprints and also uh, it's not too scratch resistant, but it looks really nice because it's um, basically a really high quality and premium feel. There is only one sticker on uh, each product, which is on the front, but everything else is printed on the jar itself. And then there is also an inlay in each um, of the lids of the jars, but also the cardboard boxes that these jars are delivered in have a really nice and sturdy feel to them because they are made of pretty thick cardboard with a per se matte gray type of finish. But then there are also these high gloss black imprints on the front, on the back and on the top of each box which feel really premium because they don't sit flush with the rest of the surface and they therefore give you kind of a haptic uh, sensation <laughs> or whatever. Anyways, what I'm aiming at is that the packaging is really nice and premium, although there are some things that maybe could have been left out, like this little uh, card explaining uh, what the products are uh, to be used for. I felt that they basically said the same thing in all three cases. And then there is also stuff like that the cardboard box is printed from the inside as well which is something that, well, I don't know if that's um, absolutely necessary. Something I also really enjoyed were the scents of the products. They are all scented in a floral and herbal type of way um, with a definitely a waxy component to them, so they smell quite natural to my taste. The scent is definitely present throughout the first three to four hours after applying the product but um, it's not overpowering, so uh, yeah, it's, it's a really nice addition to the overall look and feel to the products. And then finally, there is also the hair conditioning aspect, because each product is infused with a couple of oils and extracts that will basically condition your hair and make it feel really, really nice, even the next day when you have shampooed your hair and the product is essentially gone. The first product I tried was the Classic Pomade, which, as you might have guessed, is an oil-based pomade. So the good thing about this is that it's not a petrolatum-based pomade, but it's a genuinely oil-based pomade. The Classic Pomade has a medium to high hold, it has a pretty natural finish, so it's not super glossy, but also uh, not completely matte. And because it is a genuine oil-based pomade, that means that on one hand, it will wash out pretty easily with a regular shampoo. And on the other hand, it will also provide a really good um, type of conditioning to your hair. The scoop out though is unexpectedly tough. You definitely have to use your thumbnail to get the product out of the jar. And even then it's a really tough job to get enough product in your hands. I think that has to do with the lower temperatures in this climate. So I think that the product will uh, become a lot easier to get out of the jar um, if the temperatures are higher. But then the breakdown itself is a lot easier as soon as the product hits your hands and as soon as you apply some heat to it, it will basically turn into a really uh, soft cream. Next up there is the texture paste, which is a medium to medium high hold product 
that will add some shine and a lot of texture to your hairstyle. The scoop out of this product is absolutely effortless. It felt a little bit like a very soft version of American Crew fiber and it emulsified super easily between my hands and application was also a dream. In terms of texture and finish, this product almost felt like a very soft clay to me. Um, because it definitely added a little bit of shine but was more on the matte side of things and the overall texture really felt uh, like a clay to me. Overall, I found myself using this product on days where I didn't want too much volume, where I didn't need too much hold. That is on days where the weather was nice and um, for that occasion it turned out to be a great product. Last but definitely not least, there is the clay pomade, which to be honest, didn't really feel like a pomade to me. Um, that means that it didn't have a slick application like pomades usually do, but it more felt like a texture clay. So something that can be compared to the Diamond Barber texture clay or similar products. When I first used it, the Orient Clay Pomade reminded me a lot of Hans de Foucault's Quicksand, but in a version with improved hold and with easier application and therefore with a lot more possibilities um, of what you can do uh, with your hair. So I guess that already tells you a lot about the finish and the application of this product because it delivers an absolutely 100% matte finish and is also a great product for second day hair, um, especially when your hair is a little too greasy, then this will tone it down a lot. The application was not always super easy, which is also why I personally wouldn't call this a clay pomade. Um, because it is a really dry product um, because of its ingredients and therefore styling your hair can be a little tough and there is definitely some tuck and pull involved, especially if you have longer hair like mine. The upside, however, is that you can build a lot of volume with this product, which is something that you don't see very often with light clays, especially with the likes of the Diamond Barber Texture Clay, because that really had more of a medium hold and wasn't super good for building volume, uh, at least with my type of hair. That brings me to the conclusion of this video. I definitely liked the clay pomade the most and also used it the most. Then on the second place there is uh, the texture paste and on the third place there is the classic pomade, basically because the classic pomade uh, is a product that I have also seen elsewhere in a similar form and the texture paste and clay pomade are a little bit more innovative uh, in my opinion. Anyways, the overall performance of each product is great. The products feel really solid and premium, they smell great and they work great for my type of hair, which is why I can totally recommend this brand. All three products are priced with 26 US dollars for 3.5 ounces. There is also a travel size of the clay pomade, which is a little bit cheaper. And my shipping calculator told me that there is an additional $7 for shipping to the US. However, after I published a review of these products on my German YouTube channel, I was also given a discount code of 10%, which you will find in the description box, as well as all the other information. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, or if you don't know this channel and you want to see more, of these videos, then please subscribe. The button is just below this video. And I guess I will see you next time then. So thanks for watching and bye bye.